Have you ever encountered a stinky bag? Smoke, perfume, a chemical or factory smell, a storage odor. As someone who has purchased her fair share of pre-loved bags, I have certainly run into this problem many a time. And I've tried several different methods to get rid of that smell, so I'm gonna tell you about those today also tell you about a few that I haven't tried, and I'll tell you the current method that I use, and that I found is the best method for me. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel's all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is that on your YouTube homepage, you will see my community posts, and that's where I post things like discount codes and sales, and rare finds related to these things we love. Today we're talking about stinkiness and how to rid stinkiness from our beautiful, lovely, wonderful, and often expensive handbags. Now it used to be when I was buying a pre-loved bag, if a scent was even disclosed, it's kind of rare that they are, to be honest, it would scare me away. And personally, the one smell that still scares me away is cigarette smoke. And it doesn't scare me away because there's no solution to it, it just scares me away because it's something that really, really bothers me, and I just don't want to deal with it. That's, that's a deal breaker for me. The other typical smells that you come across, like a perfume or a storage odor, or a chemical smell, which usually is not with luxury bags, but with some of the other bags that we buy, those are not deal breakers to me. They don't scare me off anymore. And that's because I've figured out how to deal with them. So let me go through a few things that I have tried before. Some worked, some didn't. I'll tell you about things I've heard about but have not tried, and I'll tell you what my current method is that has worked best for me. So when I get a bag with a smell, the first thing I do is just air it out. Just open the bag up and let the bag sit for a few days and see how it does. Now if it's a strong enough smell that I know it's gonna need more work than that, then I'll go to another step. But sometimes all it needs is to air out for a couple of days and then it's good to go. Another thing that I've tried that works pretty well is this product. It's called Ozium. It comes in a spray. Personally, I don't wanna spray anything on my luxury bags or my non-luxury bags, but it also comes in this thing, which is just a little canister that you sit in a room, or in this case, in a bag, and it has a little notch on top that you just push over, and that opens up the vent holes. And it says, this is the Anywhere Odor Eliminator. It eliminates smoke and odors, and this says original. I think there's one that's maybe an orange scent. The original still has a scent, though, and that's really been my only problem with this. This is an odor absorber, but it it also, because it has that little bit of a scent, is also a bit of an odor masker. And one thing that I have learned in my years of trying to get rid of smells is to not to try to mask an odor. You want to get rid of it, you want to get it absorbed and eliminated and not just masked. Because then if you're masking, for example, let's say we have a smoke smell, then when you go to smell the bag, you have the smell of smoke and the smell of the thing that's trying to mask it. So smoke and orange, for example. And of course, there are also products like Febreze. Again, that, as far as I know, only comes in a spray. I wouldn't want to spray that on my bags, but it's the same sort of idea. They claim to be an odor absorber. I have found that they're really more of an odor masker when I've used it around the house before. To me, I haven't found that that product to work. I do find that Ozium has worked, but again, it leaves its own smell. My ideal odor eliminator would leave no smell, so the handbag doesn't have a smell at all, unless maybe it smells of leather or something. So I've used Ozium and other things similar to this that I'll talk about in a couple different ways. One is just to open it up and put it inside a bag and leave the bag in a room. Another way that I read about on the internet was to put your bag inside of a garbage bag and tie it up so it's closed and then have this in there with it. And I think the idea behind that is that whatever odor comes out of the bag is trapped in the garbage bag and instead of disseminating across your room that you have it in, it all gets absorbed in here. And I'm not opposed to using a product like this, but again, I haven't used it in a long time because it leaves 
a smell of its own. Another idea, more of a home remedy that I have seen on the internet and have tried before is baking soda, but I personally have not found that to work very well. There are two different methods to use baking soda to get a smell out. Two methods that I know of anyway. One is to use it the same way I just described using osium, which is just put the whole box of baking soda open inside your bag. I think that they sell some boxes where the baking soda is inside of a bag inside the box so that if it was to tip over it wouldn't spill baking soda in your bag. I could be wrong about that though. The other method might surprise you is actually to pour the baking soda into your bag. Like I have my Epi Neverfull here and this has a suede interior and we're talking dump the baking soda into the suede which is frightening right <laughs> but that's a method and the idea behind that is that the baking soda against the fabric or whatever material you're trying to get a scent out of that that would be more effective than just sitting the box inside the bag where it has no real contact with the surface with the smell now there was a youtuber who did this once with a louis vuitton alma bag she poured it in and then she was able to dump most of it out and then vacuum the rest of it up and she was successful with it, but I think most of us wouldn't want to do that, right? I know I wouldn't. So another method that I've tried is to use dryer sheets. Put dryer sheets in a bag. Now, I have come to a point where I used to use dryer sheets in my laundry all the time. I threw like three sheets of them in there and I don't use them at all anymore. That's because of the residue they can leave behind and if you have scented ones, they can leave a scent behind. And so again, you have two different scents you're dealing with now instead of just one, but at least it's not messy. A couple of things that I have not tried, but I have seen on the internet is wiping down the surface, like a leather bag, for example, with a mixture of vinegar and water. Now, again, with our luxury bags, I'm not sure any of us would want to do that, especially on something like Vachetta. You don't really want to get that wet. I don't know how vinegar would react with different leathers and different treated leathers, especially like on a patent leather, could that strip it? On a dyed leather, could that strip the color off? I wouldn't want to risk that myself. Another way is to clean it with soap and water, depending on the bag, again, but with our luxury pieces, we may not want to do something like that. Another is using a scented sachet. I, I probably have tried something like that before, putting that inside the bag, but I have found at least the sachets that I can think of that I think, if I did that, it was a long time ago, so my memory's fuzzy. Um, they wouldn't have been strong enough to absorb absorb any odor and then again they leave another scent. And then one thing I haven't tried that could work, I just have never had the materials to do this because I don't use this material, is coffee beans or ground coffee. And that's supposed to be absorbent where it can absorb smells. Now again, you would have a bag that smells like coffee. I personally don't drink coffee, I don't care for it, but I do like the smell of a lot of coffee, so I may not mind a bag that smells of coffee. You may not either. So that's an option for you. And again, that would be something where you'd wanna put it in some kind of breathable container, put it inside the bag, possibly put that in a garbage bag as well. And I could see that working pretty well as long as you don't mind your bag smelling like coffee. The method that I use, the thing that I have found most successful for me and that checks all the boxes that I want checked and doesn't check the boxes that I don't want checked. Like it's not messy and it doesn't leave a smell. And I've told you guys about these before. It is charcoal packs and you can buy these on Amazon. That's where I get mine. I'm sure there are plenty of other places that sell them as well. Benefits of the charcoal pack. It is not messy. So they, charcoal is messy of course, but these are like charcoal sachets. It's like very finely ground charcoal in here. And I was worried before I ever ordered these because it isn't fabric, right? Can the charcoal just come out? If I was to plop it down, am I gonna get a cloud of charcoal dust? No, you don't. It's very clean. You're not gonna get charcoal inside your bag. At least with the ones that I use here, I have not had that problem. So they're not messy. They're easy to use because you just pop them in a bag. You don't have to worry about them spilling. They come in a variety of sizes. I buy this size, which is I don't know, like six inches by two and a half, three inches. But they come in a larger size like this. They come in several different sizes. I find that having this size and having several of them, because I buy like a pack of 20 of these, I could put this in a pochette. I could take several of them and fill a bag and put some in pockets and just have the bag 
stuffed with the charcoal, which would be more odor absorbent and potentially help get rid of the smell faster. I just find them very easy to use. They're odorless, so there's no smell to this at all. It's not going to leave a secondary odor in your bag. They're relatively inexpensive. A pack of, I don't know, 10 of these is probably 20-ish dollars. They vary really. They're reusable. This one says reusable for two years and it says 100% bamboo charcoal, which is my understanding is a little better for the environment. It says no chemicals, non-toxic and fragrance free. And it also absorbs moisture, which is great. I just bought some silica packs. I have one here because I was watching a video by Super Jacob. Here's my silica pack. And he mentioned that he keeps silica packs in bags. So I thought, well, that's a good idea to keep the moisture out. So I bought a pack of them and I put one in all of my luxury bags. Then I sat down to do this video and pulled this out of one of my bags and was reminded that these also absorb moisture. So I didn't need the silica packs but whatever now I have both I will have no moisture anywhere my handbag environment will be completely moisture free I have read some reviews of charcoal packs where it says they have to be activated by putting them out to sit in the sun for two or three hours I don't remember hearing that about these that I purchased I've just popped them in bags and they have worked fine for me. And a bonus benefit for using these charcoal packs is that they double as bag shapers. So like right now in my mini Speedy, I have three of these and it keeps it smelling nice and moisture free. And it also keeps the bag shaped properly. So it's fabulous. Now the real secret, and this is a little bit of a downer for you, for me too, but the real secret to getting a smell out of a bag is not any of these products, it's time. I hate to tell you. Depending on the smell, you have to have patience. Um, especially like if you're buying a bag that you're getting a really good deal on but it has a smell like don't expect to be able to wear it smell free within a couple of days I had an item I have I've had one item that had a smoke smell and I have a very sensitive nose too but it took I want to say I, I, I can't tell you an exact amount of time but I want to say that it took about a year to get that smell completely gone and that was an item that I put the Osium canister in first, and then it had both of those smells, and then I had to wait to get rid of both of them. So that may have made it last longer. If you have a really strong, persistent smell, expect that it could take months for it to be gone. Some will just take weeks. I've had some that, and these would be more a bag that has just come from a factory and it's been wrapped in plastic and you open it up and it has more of a chemical smell from the factory those sometimes are gone just in a couple of days but if you have a storage odor a smoke odor i haven't really dealt with perfume odor but i'm sure it's similar to all these i would just caution you that it could take weeks if not months for that to be gone and the charcoal packs are the product that i would use to help with that sorry to be the bearer of bad news there but that's just the reality of it. However, I will say I have had, I have quite a few pre-loved bags. I don't know the exact number, but only a few of them have come with smells. Some I knew about, some I didn't. And for me, when I buy a bag, a luxury bag in particular, I buy bags that I plan to have for many, many years. So when you consider that and you consider that a span of weeks or months to have it sit on the shelf and air out and make it more wearable, that's really a very small amount of time in the lifetime that I plan to have the bag or the amount of time I plan to have the bag. So to me, especially if I'm getting a good deal on the bag, it's totally worth it. But for some people, any smell is a complete deal breaker and that's understandable too. But this is what I've tried and what I have learned over the years dealing with smells and trying different methods. So I hope that that's helpful for you and saves you some time, even though it also costs time. And if you have any methods that you have found really work for you or really have not worked, please let us know in the description box below so we can learn from each other. We like to do that on this channel. Education is key. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you tuning in. I hope to see you back here next time. And I hope that you and your loved ones are doing well and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Bye.